and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about the Disney College Program and if you are new to my channel and have no idea what that is, I'm assuming you do if you clicked on the t video based off the title, but I did the DCP as we call it back in 2015. I did the fall program and I absolutely loved it. I really feel like I took advantage of my time and there was a lot of things I did do during my program, but there were some things I seriously regretted after I left the company. So I'm going to be sharing those things with you today. I hope you are excited. If there's something I forget to mention and you have a burning question, please feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. I think I've covered just about everything, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to cover is probably the biggest thing, so I'm just gonna jump right into this with that one. It is making sure that you take full advantage of all the workshops and these exclusive events. So in the GCP, they're pretty good about explaining that these are just exclusive to the GCP. You cannot do them. Even if you're working for the company, you still can't do these things just if you're an employee. Like this is only for the GCP. So those workshops might be on resume writing or networking. I did the resume writing one and I, I'm so, so glad I did because I'll tell you like, this is how, I mean, there's no right way to write a resume, but these are some things that would look great on it. Here's how you even word this entire program. Here's the best way to put that. Like, it's so helpful. And I'm kicking myself for not going to more of those because some of them were early in the morning and I'm like, oh, that's a little too early for me. But looking back on it, like that was stupid that I didn't really take full advantage of that. And even the events, I went to one, the one I went to, of course, was a Little Mermaid one. It, um, you can meet Ariel, Eric, and Sebastian. So I'm like, I'm there, I'm not missing that one but there was like a fall formal one I didn't get to go to because I don't know I just didn't probably feel like it at the time but looking back I'm like okay like I should have gone to that I mean like I'll, I'll admit I'm an introvert so sometimes going to those things can be pretty intimidating especially when I was 22 going to those things and most people were maybe 19 or 20 or just at different spots in our lives um, but looking back on it like that was what that would have been cool and that was the only time I could have done it and I didn't do it so if you're in that position maybe you're doing the fall program or you're applying for the spring program just know ahead of time like sign up for some classes I signed up for classes and I absolutely loved it I was out of college at that point and I didn't need to take them but I did anyways because I wanted to learn what marketing was like from the Disney company. Like I wanted them to teach me because they're the expert. I wanted to know from them what marketing should look like or what are some good tactics to use. I wanted to take the Disney traditions class because I heard such great things about it and it was so cool. Like I'm such a Disney nerd and learning about the history of the company from Disney was the coolest thing ever. So please take full advantage of the classes and the workshops and all the events because you'll really never get the chance to otherwise and you'll probably look back on it and kick your yourself like I am now. The next thing I regretted not doing more often is going to the parks alone. So I'm again an introvert and the idea of going to a theme park by myself sounds terrifying. However, there was one time that I can remember off the top of my head that I went by myself and I actually had a really, really good time. So I had just gotten blood drawn. I was donating blood at one of the blood banks. So they'll have like blood mobiles come around to the different apartments and so people can give blood. I think it's super cool. So I went and did that and then afterwards I wanted to go on Splash Mountain as a reward for giving blood. Well, I had no friends at the time that were available to go with me, which I mean, I was like, okay, whatever, I'm still gonna go. So I went and rode Splash Mountain by myself and honestly, it was super fun. And then I just kind of walked around and people watched and I even saw the electrical parade and Anastasia waved at me and I just thought it was so cool like I remember this I remember like nothing like I have the worst memory but like going by myself that one time really stood out to me another time I went by myself um, my friend was kind of sick and then she also had classes she had to do so I want to see the welcome show I had never seen it and I'm going now as a guest so this time is when I went after I had already left the company I paid to go and I wanted to go so I went by myself I went and met different characters I just kind of relaxed and it was really cool just seeing the park kind of come to life in the morning because I got there super early was really neat it was really fun and it was oddly relaxing so one thing I really regretted was not going to the parks when I had no one to go with. I always felt like I had to have someone in order to go, like it wouldn't be fun, but it was actually really fun and it was kind of nice. Besides the fact that like if you're doing the DCP, most likely you will return home or go back to college after it's all done. And looking back on it, I mean, the 
granted, there were days where I was done with work and I could not wait to go home, but looking back on it, like, I don't have the opportunity to just go to Disney World or go to Disneyland whenever I like, and that would have been really cool. Like, you can just go there and just do something. Like, you can just go to the parks because you have a pass that's included with your program. So, looking back on it, I, that's something I definitely wish I did more. It sounds intimidating, but once you're there and you're just, like, people watching, or you're just enjoying yourself, like, it's totally fine and it's actually kind of fun. My third thing I regret not doing is very specific, but I didn't get the chance to go to Blizzard Beach, and I am kicking myself now for not doing that. Um, some of you guys might remember this, but way, way back in the day, there were some sing-along song VHS tapes that Disney came out with. I actually recently, like, searched this on YouTube, and someone had posted them, and not gonna lie, I totally watched them, and I just loved it. But when I was a kid, I never got the chance to go to Disney World because I live on the West Coast, and there was this video, and it was Typhoon Lagoon in Blizzard Beach. I think it's called like Day in the Sun or Day at the Beach or something like that. And all the kids I got to go to Blizzard Beach and me and my brother used to watch this video on repeat and we always dreamed of going to Blizzard Beach. So when I was I think 10 or 12, I'm pretty sure I was 12 when I went to Disney World for the first time, we were so excited to go to the water parks and we had an amazing time. So when I was doing my DCP, I definitely went to Typhoon Lagoon twice actually and I really liked it. It was really fun. Um, I just never got around to going to Blizzard Beach. It was something I kept putting off and I was like oh, I'll get there eventually. Um, I think it's one of those things that most people just don't really care to go to. They'd rather go to Epcot or go to Magic Kingdom um, and again I didn't go to the parks a lot by myself so going to the Blizzard Beach by myself just didn't sound fun and I never went and it's something that I totally regretted just because I had the opportunity to go. I had the means to go. It didn't cost me anything because I could take a bus with transportation Transstar from my residence. I was living at Vista Way. I could literally take the bus to Blizzard Beach and back. I didn't have to pay for parking, anything. It was all free and I just didn't go. So looking back, it was something I totally regretted. So make sure you have the opportunity to go to all the theme parks, all the water parks, and even like Disney Springs because I can almost guarantee you if you don't, you're going to regret it. The fourth thing on my list of things I just totally regret not doing is something that I've still never ever done, but I've heard so many good things about it from my friends and that is the Hoop to Do review. So this is something in the Magic Kingdom, it's in Frontierland, and to be honest, I'm not totally sure what the whole, like, draw, like, what, what, what draws people in to go see this. Um, I'm not sure if it's the food, I know it's like a show, but then they also bring people up on stage. It might be just the atmosphere. Regardless, I have had multiple friends tell me, like, how much fun it is. I'll see on Instagram everyone bragging about the fact that they get to go there. So it wasn't something when I was there that really stood out in my mind. I feel like some of the dining experiences that everyone feels like you have to do are the character dining experiences, such as Be Our Guest Rest restaurant or Cinderella Castle, like those types of things. So it wasn't something that I really heard much about and I just was like, eh, I'm like, I don't really need to do that. Um, but, but hearing back from friends, like they absolutely loved it. So the next time I'm in, I'm in Disney World, I'm going to have to make a reservation there because I've heard so many great things about it and I'm kind of kicking myself for not really doing that while I was there. And the last and final thing I regretted not doing during my DCP, um, well, I kind of did it, but I didn't really take full advantage of it, was really enjoying all the festivals. So Epcot has a couple different festivals that they have throughout the year. They'll have the Food and Wine Festival. They had the Arts Festival, which I'm pretty sure started after I left. And they also have the Flower and Garden Festival. So they have these different festivals throughout the year. And as someone who is above the age of 21, a lot of them do involve alcohol um, and things like that nature. It was something that I just didn't really do a whole lot and I wasn't really drawn to it. Even like the food aspect of food and wine, like I didn't go there to try different things. I'm one of those people that will just find a restaurant I like, find an item that I like off the menu and will eat that every single time and won't try anything new. But I really regretted not really fully experiencing food and wine. I know they'll hand out little cute little passports and you can check off all the items that you get to do. It was just something that was different. I know if you go a lot, let's just say you're an annual pass holder, you're a Florida resident, you're in the DC you go to the parks all the time. Sometimes it does get kind of like habitual and it doesn't seem like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to find something fun and exciting to go. I mean, granted, if there's like a new character or a new ride or an event, that's always fun. But sometimes it's like, okay, like I've, I've been there, I've done this already so many times. So really taking advantage of those festivals, it's something different and it's something that I was like, oh, I don't really need to do that. But looking back on it, it was something that I felt like I missed out on because I didn't really take full advantage of it. So those are the top five things I really regretted not doing when I was doing the Disney College program over at Disney World. 
it's probably good to mention those are not probably the top five things you should do while you're doing the Disney College program, but maybe those are some things to think about as you either enter your Disney College program or maybe you're in it right now. Maybe you're applying for the spring program just to start thinking about because those are some things that weren't at the top of my priority list. Those are things I just kind of brushed to the side and I was like, eh, I'll get to them if I get to them. But looking back, I'm like, oh man, I, I really should have done that while I was there. So hopefully you get a chance to do all those things and let me know too if you're doing the program or if you're interested in applying like I would love to hear from you guys all about your experiences it's been three years now since I did my program which is crazy to me I did it in September my my start date was September 3rd 2015 I did the fall program and I absolutely loved it it was so so much fun and I love the fact that there's now a lot of more youtubers talking about the Disney college program talking about their experience with Disney I don't know if I just wasn't looking for YouTube videos back in 2015 or if there really wasn't any but but to the best of my knowledge, there wasn't like a lot out there, which is why I started my YouTube video or my YouTube channel in the first place and talking about Disney because I was interested. I was in your guys' spot where I was learning about it and I wanted to know more about it and I was so excited, but there wasn't really a lot out there for me to learn. So that's why I started my channel and it's really cool for me to see so many other YouTube creators creating videos, talking about Disney, talking about working for Disney and the college program. So if you guys are in that boat and you're thinking about starting a channel, you totally should. I think it's just such a great way to even capture your experiences there because it goes by so fast and then once it's done, it's done and you can't redo it. And and yeah, that's hence why I'm making this video talking about the things I didn't do and why I regretted not doing them. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day or evening and I will see you in my next one. Bye!